Starfield is one of the most immersive Bethesda games yet, but that isn't going to stop us turning the dial to 11. If you want even more immersion, then you've come to the right video, because today I've handpicked 20 immersive mods that suit all kinds of playstyles, so you can walk away with some to implement into your current or future playthrough. We're going to start strong with Team Eve, seemingly coming out of modding retirement to bring us Effects Textures Enhanced, or EXE. I have no doubt this mod will become the definitive Starfield Special Effects mod. At the moment, it's an ongoing work in progress that aims to remake and improve every single effect. Fire? Come on Starfield. San Andreas had better fire effects. <laughs> This change alone makes all the difference. Electricity now looks more vibrant and intimidating, and explosions now look super cinematic, along with the decals they leave on the walls. These really sell the belief of explosive damage, as opposed to just a texture being displayed on a wall. Blood, wounds, impacts on bodies are also improved, although I don't really know if I'm allowed to show this on YouTube, so let's move on. Seeing the aftermath of a gunfight in Starfield shows you really how much damage you've done. Bodies are strung all over the place, and more importantly, bullet casings fill the room. Well, they will fill the room with immersive shell casings. A mod that increases the amount of casings that can stay in the world. Before you wonder, there should be no impact on performance. At least there wasn't for me, but the author has included a bunch of versions so that you can choose how many casings you want. This is just one of those background mods that you don't really notice too often, but when you do, you come to appreciate how cool it looks. I however can't say the same for the scopes in Starfield. They are an active immersion killer. It's the same cheap effect from the older Fallout games, you aren't actually scoping into your gun, and I don't think Bethesda is fooling any of us with this. Until we get a mod like see-through scopes from Fallout 4, the mod transparent scope overlays does an excellent job at making this effect feel more believable. I love how the transparent part outside fades out. It makes a sort of depth of field effect and draws your eyes towards the middle. The red reticles the mod adds as well does a great job at contrasting the crosshair from the rest of the scope. It's gonna make combat a whole lot more enjoyable. And speaking of combat, Let's hand this one over to Mr. Todd Howard himself. Of course, the real Todd Howard couldn't make it, so we're gonna have to do with an AI counterpart. You see, the combat in Starfield is amazing. I think everyone here at Bethesda knocked it out of the park. All of these AI systems work so perfectly together to make combat feel intense. I don't think any mods are needed to improve it, so let's just move on to the next section. Wait, 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 no, 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 hold on a second. The combat definitely has some room for improvement. Todd is mostly correct here, but when thinking about combat, there are two issues that scream out. Tackling the first issue is as easy as installing deadly difficulty. When you reach hard and very hard difficulty, you will notice you deal less damage whilst enemies deal more. This mod, however, increases both damage dealt and received meaning both you and your enemy only take a few shots to be killed. It's going to enhance your experience with combat a whole lot by making every fight actually feel intense. Pair this one with improved combat AI, which makes enemies more reactive to your attacks, and you'll have the most immersive combat experience. If that's not immersive enough for you though, no enemies on compass means you truly are in the dark when it comes to knowing your enemy's locations. You will have to purely rely on sounds to pinpoint where people are, and if you get caught off guard with no med packs to spare, then we all know food is not going to save you. My character could eat all of this food on screen, food for a whole community, and still only get about 30% of his health back. That's why you need actually functional food and chems, a mod that makes food items way more useful. And best of all, you can determine how much more useful. The included foe mod will ask you to choose one of four modifier options. I personally would recommend the three times or five times option. These two options strike a nice balance to make it not too overpowered. A somewhat bonus mod in this section is immersive mantle animation speed. You want movement mechanics to be speedy and responsive but Starfield's mantle is awkward looking and slow. Bethesda is back at it again with these delays we touched on in the last video, because after every mantle, there's a short pause where your character just decides whether he wants to carry on moving forward or not. In this clip, I have my W key pressed down the whole time. Not only does the mod get rid of the delay and speed things up, but it makes the animation look a whole lot more natural. Now let's move on from combat to something a little more relaxing. First up is your ship or rather the glorified fast travel machine. 
more dramatic grab jumps is going to make your fast traveling a lot more cinematic and interesting. You'll have to excuse Vasco here because he sometimes likes to hover in front of my ship during grav jumps. The mod has three types of animations as well as one from the cockpit. I think if you are going for immersion like we are today, the cockpit one provides the most. The same author's other mod, more immersive landings and takeoffs, also has a cockpit only option, meaning you can combine both of these and always stay first person during flight. And when you land on a planet, you'll want to get the mod immersive planet density. This one might be a bit of a controversial one, but despite people's complaints about planets feeling empty, this mod makes them more empty? Well, not exactly. It tries to make the planet's density feel a bit more realistic. Medium and low populated planets will have their density reduced by up to 60%, whilst more popular planets will have its density increased. This makes the lower populated planets actually have a lack of building and infrastructure. I can see how many people might find this mod great, as it makes these planets feel actually deserted. But then also there's going to be a lot of people that think this mod just makes Starfield boring. Let me know what you think in the comments, and let's move on. A lot of Starfield's sounds and music can be quite distracting, breaking immersion easily. Dylan James sure thinks so because he has created mods that tone down the harshness of sound effects. For flight, he's outright removed the sounds with the mod No Flight Takeoff Grav Jump Music. The exploration soundtrack would overlap with the takeoff and grav jump music anyway, so removing this brings a more seamless feel. It also lets you hear the engines of your ship more, which is always a welcome change. His other mod, More Subtle Level Up Sounds, removes the whole London orchestra coming out whenever you level up to a more gentle sting that fits seamlessly. Take a listen to the difference. This same concept was applied to the quest complete music as well, with more subtle quest music. If instead you just want complete silence and immersion, then silent sounds immersive gameplay has you covered. This one removes a lot of sounds including the quest and level up ones we've mentioned, to let you better take in Starfield's atmosphere without interruption. Similar to how the combat music ramps up, completely cutting out the blissful ambient soundtrack. No combat music will let whatever background track was playing to continue playing without interruption. I'm not gonna lie, this one isn't for me, but I'm sure some of you out there despise the sometimes repetitive combat music of Starfield, which then brings us to the end of the sound mods and onto something a little more visual. Those eyes, those horrifying eyes, the NPCs in Starfield are, to put it lightly, scary. I couldn't quite pinpoint what makes these NPCs look so uncanny valley until I got crowd NPC eye ambient occlusion fix. Of course, placing ambient and occlusion around the eyes makes them way less harsh and also less like nightmare fuel. Being this damn close to faces in Starfield also shows you how low res these textures are. So let's grab Starfield HD reworked project and wow these textures look amazing. This game hasn't even been out a month and we already have a texture rework project. Well, I mean, it's a work in progress similar to EXE, but the author is tackling the textures that look really bad first, like the wall directly behind these NPCs, getting a major uplift. Best of all, this mod doesn't affect performance. As long as you have six gigabytes of VRAM, which let's be honest, if your GPU can handle Starfield, it most probably does, then this mod's only effect will be increasing that VRAM usage. Now we head back to an old friend mentioned in a past video, because we can't have a video about making Starfield immersive without neutral LUTs. If you want immersion, you most likely want the cleanest visuals possible, so if you hate the brown and green filter on some planets, this LUT is super easy to install and cleans the visuals right up. This is another double-edged sword mod. This is going to kill the immersion that you are in a space film, but help the immersion that you are in a space RPG. And if you were in a space RPG, things wouldn't have an Instagram filter on it. Personal preference as always, but like previously, I'd love to hear in the comments what you guys prefer. When it comes to immersion, you want the least amount of UI possible, so you aren't constantly reminded that you are playing a game. That's why the mod Less Intrusive HUD and Better Crosshair is perfect for this. This one's gonna keep the helpful information on screen, but simplify it so it's less in the way and less noticeable. There's something so visually pleasing about the UI being one color and having no borders. I think the mod looks great, but if you just want to outright remove this HUD, then the mod Immersive Tactical HUD is what you need. This, combined with the mods from the combat section of this video, is going to make Starfield a very, very challenging game. You won't know how much damage you are doing, 
or the amount of armor they have, so fighting enemies will become a guessing game. But for people that want a hardcore experience, you should definitely try this one out. And that's all of the mods I've found thus far to bring you a more immersive experience. Hopefully you found a bunch of mods you like, and also, I just want to say thank you for the support on these modding videos. I hit 1.5k subs a few weeks ago, which I'm forever grateful for. And if you aren't one of those people, then get subscribed if you enjoy modding Bethesda games. Lastly, if you are still hungry for more mods to try out, then go check out my last video, where I went over 10 best Starfield mods that you can't live without.